Liberty criminal defense attorney, Mark Garagos. Mark, I know that you've represented a long list of celebrity clients. I mean, we can go down the list. Michael Jackson, maybe the biggest one. Uh, Nicole Richie, Chris Brown, Winona Ryder. Um, goodness, P. Diddy. <laughs> Who have you not represented? Uh, but you're joining us this morning to give us a little bit of context here. The Academy says that they're conducting this review on what Will Smith did based on their code of conduct. What consequences could he face? Well, from a criminal standpoint, the LAPD, the Los Angeles Police Department's already said that they approached apparently Chris Rock, who didn't want to uh, press charges. So I would imagine that's the end of that. Normally, people I saw a lot of chatter about is this, this is a felonious assault. It's not. It's uh, at best if this case were to ever get filed, if Chris Rock changed his mind and said, hey, I want to file this thing or press press charges, it would be a misdemeanor, and it would go away if it was a misdemeanor, if there was an exchange of money under what's called a civil compromise. So there isn't much criminal exposure here, if, uh, if at all. Um, if that doesn't mean that the academy can't do something. Uh, it's kind of funny in an ironic sense that the academy, after the fact, is uh, is doing some kind of an investigation because uh, clearly they didn't do anything in real time. And so I don't know what they want to do after this. They're not going to ask for his um, Academy Award back or his Oscar back. So I don't see much of this happening, although it's certainly uh, provided a lot of fodder for people on the Internet. Yeah, and for late night talk show hosts. I, Mark, keep it real with me. You've seen and you've dealt with some of the most famous people in the world. Beyond the criminal part, you counsel, you sit, and you're kind of a therapist to some of these clients you have. What would you tell Will Smith today? I think what he did initially with this apology was the right move, whoever uh, kind of scripted that for him, that he's a work in progress, um, is exactly what needed to be done. I probably would put my head down. A lot of times what I tell clients is, just wait, somebody else is gonna do something even more stupid in the next 48 hours and this will pass. So I would just say, wait, you will see this new cycle's not gonna last that long, it's gonna pass. People's attention spans are shorter and shorter than ever. Is this unprecedented? When you think about, you know, somebody walking up on stage during the Academy Awards and hauling off and slapping somebody, uh, would, the, would the Academy feel pressure to do something or set precedence? Well, you know, I'm old enough to remember um, a woman who came on stage at the Academy Awards and was talking about Indigenous people and they had to hold back John Wayne from coming on stage and Clint Eastwood uh, apparently was very upset. So there's been some contretemps in the past. The, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not saying that this couldn't have led to something much worse. It could have. And I've had cases in Hollywood, um, uh, the geographical location, Hollywood, where somebody one punch resulted in somebody falling over somebody injuring themselves badly. And those are cases that the LAPD and the district attorney's office take seriously. Um, in terms of this case, uh, I think that it's going to blow over at some point um, and not be a, a real big issue. I, I Obviously, because of the ratings and because of the number of people watching, it's something that we're talking about and why I'm talking about it with you right now. Yeah, and Chris Rock, obviously, uh, he's seeing major ticket sales, but he, he could do something. It doesn't sound like he wants to press any charges or file any charges. Maybe he wants it to blow over, too. What do you think? Well, I don't know about that. I mean, at a certain point, depending on how this kind of plays out, I've seen where people who try to be gracious initially uh, and no good deed goes unpunished have a change of heart. So it would not surprise me if at some point later on um, there's a letter that's delivered by his representatives to Will Smith's representatives and you might quietly behind the scenes find some kind of um, uh, compensation, shall we say. So that would not surprise me in the least. And it wouldn't surprise me if there was something that came about between the two of them. And obviously, there is some history there and some people have mentioned that. And so it will be interesting to see how it plays out. All right. Thank you, Mark Garagos, for being with us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Good morning.
still ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.